Welcome to the Black American Hebrew Unity Discussion. And I'm your host, your brother, Black Sheep. So come on in, brothers and sisters. I want to share a clip with you, an auditorio visual clip, because the visual is me and the auditorio is going to be what you hear. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. Come on in, everybody. So you can win. Come on in. Come on in. My enemies and my friends. Come on in. Come on in, everybody. So you can win. Uh, yeah. So this clip I'm about to share with you, brothers and sisters, um, is the is is it, you know it was posted 11 months ago. Uh, it got 304 likes, okay? So, you know, 55,000 views, 54 likes, that's a scary thing to me. So I'm finna start cutting into the cheese, uh, so to speak. So this is President Biden, me and Vice President Harris, Harris meets with members of the Black Aggressional Caucus. And, uh, and share this clip with you, brothers and sisters. Uh, join me. Come on in. And uh, so we can make some sense about how we can win. Look, it's an honor to be with all of you today. And I, I know uh, it's been a pretty painful week. Yeah. Look, it's an honor to be with all of you today. And I, I know uh, it's been a pretty painful week, you know, with... Uh, with uh, Lost, we've had, you know, a good friend, S. E. Hastings, which I knew a long, long time. And uh, to lose him is uh, losing a piece of the, I don't know what, just losing a piece of something. And uh, also, uh, you know, Dante Wright of Minnesota that uh, got off the shooting and resulting in his death. And, uh, and uh, in the midst of an ongoing trial over the killing of George Floyd, and Lord only knows what's happened based on what the verdict will or will not be there. And, uh, but uh, we're in the business, all of us meeting today, to deliver some real change. When uh, we took office, I had to talk with Jim at length about this. Every single aspect of, I signed the executive order, every single aspect of our government, uh, including every agency, has as a primary focus dealing with equity. And not a joke. From the beginning, we talked at length about it, Jim. And uh, not only, but we also uh, have an awful lot of things we have to deal with, not when it only comes to police, when it comes to advances in quality economic opportunity. Cedric always says the thing that he uh, would drive him crazy is that uh, everybody wouldn't want to talk about equity in the black community talk about prisons. Well, that's part of it, man, but that's not, it's about income. It's about being able to earn a living. It's about being able to be in a position where you have economic opportunity. And so I look forward to discussing all these priorities, the CBC priorities and the goals. Here. Can we remember, can we, can we, can we, can we grab the significance and what the president of the United States, United States, is saying? Crazy is that uh, play the everybody game. wouldn't want to talk about equity in the black community. Talk about prisons. Well, that's part of it, man. But equity in the prisons, equity, and then you talk about the prisons, and you notice how you said that's part of it. Listen. That's not, it's about income. It's about being able to earn a living. It's about being able to be in a position that he uh, would drive him crazy is that uh, everybody wouldn't want to talk about equity in the black community, talk about prisons. Well, that's part of it, man, but that's not, it's about income. It's about being able to earn a living. It's about being able to be in a position where you have economic opportunity. And so I look. You see that there? This is from the mouth of the president. Now this is from the same mouth. Okay, so I, for all you bitch ass motherfuckers on here worrying about me calling your bitch ass out, okay? 
Even the Bible say, man, that the tongue is a double-edged sword, man. The same motherfucking tongue that can bless you, it can curse you. So don't, okay? So And it also says that in the fine print, judge not, and thou will not be judged. Understand that shit. So call it like it is. You heard me? Call this shit like it is. Huh? Me, you sleep, you in a deep ass motherfucking cultural co uh, and traditional coma, and I'm and I'm shaking your motherfucking ass up, nigga. That's what the fuck I'm doing. So call it like the fuck it is, huh? And you got organizations out right motherfucking now, nigga. That's that's coming out of no motherfucking, just the fabric of society. Okay, talking about silence is not consent. It's a group of Karens, a group of white women. Just formed up out of no motherfucking where. Talking about silence ain't con is not consent. Silence is consent. So pay attention, man. Watch it. I'll be a victim. Like we already motherfucking is, nigga. I look forward to discussing all these priorities. You see, you see crazy is that uh, everybody... But we also uh, have an awful lot of things we have to deal with, not when it only comes to police, when it comes to advancing inequality, economic opportunity. Cedric always says the thing that he uh, would drive him crazy is that uh, everybody would want to talk about equity in the black community, talk about prisons. Well, that's part of it, man, but that's... Equity and the prison. Help me, brothers and sisters, okay? Because I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not intelligent at all okay understand this i'm down here at ground zero really really living what's being talked about i'm not no politician okay i'm a sims of a higher okay a human being that came into this world old estate you hear me just like a lot of us down here at ground zero living under bridges shooting up uh you know just self-destruction man it's having the self-destructive behavior, attitudes, mentalities, so on and so forth, all because we are deprived from what's owed from us down here at Ground Zero. And that's recognition through HR 40 and compensation to come back into these communities and open up businesses how black folks supposed to be instead of standing on the side of liquor store, other nationality businesses asking for begging for their life back. You on social security, you disabled, okay? Huh? Okay, well, press subscribe. Simple shit, man, because you knowing what they helping you with ain't ain't helping you, brother, through the whole month. That's just helping you pay the bills that, that, that you got. And then where is the survival opening up your bid enough money to open up businesses? And then if we had our own businesses open and was recognized getting what we uh, uh, was was owed through the Emancipation Proclamation, we all to still be just like the Indians every fucking month receiving that lump sum of money to open up casinos to open up a uh, 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 big ass motherfucking uh, 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 foster farms black folk don't got no resources okay so come on man okay Let, really let's pay attention Cause the president just said every time somebody talking about equal equity, it got to do with what black, what prisons. Okay. Yeah. Think about this. Where's all the, where's this going? Okay. And then the president himself, uh, uh, says something very important. So pay attention. When it comes to police, when it comes to advancing quality, economic opportunity, Cedric always says the thing that he, uh, would drive him crazy is that uh, everybody would want to talk about equity in the black community, talk about prisons. Well, that's part of it, man, but that's not, it's about income. It's about being able to earn a living. It's about being able to be in a position where you have economic the most important thing he said through this whole video is that right there, man. And I want to see if y'all brothers and sisters call it. Yeah. Crazy is he that, said, catch uh, it when he said the most important thing and then catch the rest. Well, that's part of it, man, but that's not, it's about income. It's about being able to earn a living. It's about being able to be in a position. 
See, more Senator than that. Senator always says the thing that he uh, would drive him crazy is that Pay uh, attention. everybody wouldn't want to talk about equity. The black community talk about Right the here. Difference. Well, that's part of it. Man, that's part that's of it. Not, it's about income. It's about being able income. To it's about being able Making to a living. Okay? Starting a business. Well, that's part of it, man, but that's not, it's about income. It's about being able to earn a living. It's about being able to be in a position where you have economic opportunity. And so I look forward to discussing. You see where I'm coming from? And we need that position, Mr. President. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay, black people in the United States of America, that's all I'm trying to say. Okay, is what the president is saying. You heard me? And I play it for you again. Opportunity. Cedric always says the thing that he uh, would drive him crazy is that uh, everybody wouldn't want to talk about equity. The black community talk about prisons. Well, that's part of it, man, but that's not, it's about income. It's about being able to. That's part of it. So we'll catch that on a whole nother segment. Remember that. Okay, so the brothers and sisters in prison, we coming for you, man. It's a lot of y'all don't even supposed to be in there. Okay, and we understand that. We know that, man. Understand you brothers and sisters, man, y'all in them in them prisons, in these European prisons. Okay, a lot of us in there, niggas supposed to be in there, need to be in there. We understand that, okay? But, man, it's a lot of us in there that don't supposed to be in there, man. Understand this. And you brothers and sisters got you, your appeals in and all that. Just keep your eyes on the prize, man. You heard what I said? Keep your eyes on the black congressional car. All you brothers and sisters in that penitentiary need to become an absorbed to what the black congressional caucus is up against, what we up against, the congressional caucus and the caucus itself is up against. Okay? Follow us. Follow us on the on the on the on the reparations task force. Press subscribe on that phone and so on and so forth, man. And let's get this started, man. The 21st century, you could be walking up out of there, man. Okay, and follow this show also. Cause I'm gonna keep you a brace, man. You heard me on everything in real time. You heard what I said? So this video is from 11 months ago from when the Black Caucus met with the president. Okay, now, now in, the, in the meantime, in between time, what new, what's been coming up in the news? You see what I'm saying? And we just heard this president say what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. We just heard this president say this. And, and pay attention, man. All the economic opportunity. Cedric always says the thing that he... Uh would drive him crazy is that uh, everybody wouldn't want to talk about equity. The black community talk about prisons. Well, that's part of it, man, but that's not, it's about income. It's about being able to earn a living. It's about, it's about income, being able to earn a business. Being able to be in a position where you have economic opportunity. And being, so, that's the most important thing he's seeing is being in a position to gain and earn this right here, what he said. Is that uh, everybody wouldn't want to talk about equity in the black community talk about prisons. Well, that's part of it, man, but that's not, it's about income. It's about being able to earn a living. It's about being able. To it's about income, being able to earn a living. Being in a position. Being in a position. Where you have economic opportunity. Where you have economic opportunity. Ain't this the same president that the Black Caucus gave $41. million to? Ain't this the same motherfucking president that sent 16 point, uh, 13 point or 13.6 billion over to Ukraine? Ain't this the same motherfucking president that just gave 600 million to, to Afghanistan and gave 500 million to Assyria and be, and recently being sued by, uh, Recently being sued by who? Hate the Haitians? And still got his motherfucking foot on the neck of who? You niggas, man. You niggas. You niggas. Subscribe to this channel. My niggas from New York all the way to the Bay, God. In a real way. For shizzle my nizzle. Huh? In a real way, my nigga. Huh? Subscribe to this channel, man. We got work to do, blood. 
in a real way. Yeah, cousin, we got work to do, man. The United States of America, man. Like I said, I'm going to start calling you brothers and sisters' name who God putting on my heart, you know what I mean, to call you to work for him, man. You, you know what I mean? We got work to do in building our economy up, getting this government to 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 adhere to their original sin and what's owed to the descendants of who they stepped who they who they stepped on then and who who foot they still got on their they neck. You see what I'm saying? Cause all us brothers and sisters on subsidies, food stamps, and all we talking about black folk. Black folk need to come to these adherences because the things that they throw in us, yeah, we can consider these things handouts because we disabled and, 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 and not immune to this society. You see what I'm saying? But when HR 40, if we could push HR 40 in there where we can start being recognized of uh, as being slaves in this country, okay, because we didn't climb no walls to get over here. You see what I'm saying? We didn't climb, we didn't climb, we didn't, we wasn't caked up on 18 wheelers coming over here. Okay. We was we came up over, over here in a much more treacherous condition. Understand this. And then the black people that is all that was already over here as the indigenous, you still okay, we we all still are one people. We were all still going through that slavery period. And we all still is at the tail end, okay, of the Jim Crow law in existence. Understand this, okay? Yeah, because this is the tail end, man, where it can start rattling now, man. You heard what I'm saying? Yeah. Or I could put it in another uh, in another uh, uh, metaphorical analogy. And that's as far as World War Three is any day now because they don't want this to take place. It's going to that, that means it will be a whole nother platform. It will it will it will flip the fin on the fish and, and make it start moving in the water. And once the fish start moving in the water, man, then look at that big old sea. See that big old sea out there, man. <laughs> yeah, they don't want that little bitty fish to grow up to be a big old whale. You see where I'm coming from? So what's they going to do? Okay, then. See, that's called deliverance of power. See, when they give us what we got, then, you know, there it is there, man. We going to be in every in every city, every ghetto, every, every slum in the United States of America, old royalty. Royalty. Literally, man. You see what I'm saying? And like I say, that's the way they thinking. Which that's not how it's going to be. Because the Bible say, you know, when his people is get what they've owed, the whole nation, the all nations will be blessed. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, you got to look at the poor white trash that's down here with us. You got to look at, you know, the poor brown trash that's down here with us. That's not in, in you know, in, in, in a brain, in a, in a white brainwashful state. You know what I mean? That still got respect for us, that still look at us as brothers. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, then they know if, if black folks is 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 released what we own, then we go be re just like the, these brown brothers and sisters and these white brothers and sisters down here then reached out to us, okay? Because they know they cut off from the government too. Then they know that we going to be reaching out and helping them. And God and whoever wrote the vision seen where every all nations will be blessed. Okay. From from this, you know, from, from the poor condition of, of this beast, man. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So that's, that's where it is. And just like the president say, this is what it's about. Okay, this was 11 months ago, but in the meantime, in between time, look at how much money being dispersed to other countries, to other nationalities. You see what I'm saying? When they have a, 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 inside their own country, a whole nationality that Mitch McConnell himself say he don't know who to give it to. But you got Joe Biden, the president himself saying, it ain't, man humans can't do nothing if they humans in general but he's directing his uh message what makes it so fucking important to the black carcass 
And he's telling them human beings can't do nothing on this planet if they don't have a, a equal opportunity. So for him to say some shit like that and do the and do some shit like he's been doing, man, where's black folks still today? Cause of uh, cause I'm telling you right now, man. If, if I go, if I point this out my window, and, huh? Yeah. Okay, man, you will see, man. We on the side of liquor stores, man, begging for 50 cent gas stations, asking for, for 50 cent, begging for, for gas and, 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 and help people help us just to be able to keep going in our personal life. You see what I'm saying? So we see that subsidies is is is, is handouts, man. Us disabled down here with with with, with you know with with, with schizophrenia problems. You see what I'm saying? Uh, things of this nature, broke legs and 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 and, and, and section eight. These people, man, as, as I'm an interview, they can run their own business, man. That's all I'm trying to say. Why you saying it's not a good idea? Okay, depression comes and breeding. And, and is born, conceived up out of poverty, man. Okay? Everybody and their mama that's smoking drugs, that's in the black community, that's smoking thee thee, that's smoking that, that, that heron, shooting it up, and so on and so forth, just believe me, man. Please believe me. You get a hold to enough money and access to your own piece of land, please believe me, man. You go see what that shit really was. And then they knowing you might turn that shit back on the on on you know on their society and start doing what they've been doing to our society. That's what the fuck they're afraid of. He been on he been on crystal meth all his life, and we give him all this money, he could turn around and and start get off that shit and start selling that shit back into the white and brown community because that's what they're all really on. But we pulled up from that shit. You see where I'm coming from. Yeah, nigga. See, they want to keep us here because because that's what poverty breeds. Sickness. Because they he the president just said itself. If, if you know a person not given what the, the, the equal opportunity, you're doomed. He said that subliminally. Uh, in between the lines, just by telling the truth of an equal op making a statement of an equal opportunity plane, which black folk is not on until HR 40 could get pushed up in that Congress and work, work, work can get done. Work can get done. We have work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I get what I was, and if I got what I'm supposed to have, yeah. I could open me up a business just like these Yemen's coming over from their country, huh? Open up me a liquor store. Open me up. See, they don't want all this shit, man, to be given to black folk. Open me up a little gas station with two with, with four pumps. With my own little bitty or my own little smoke shop. Okay. And I'll, I'll, I'll open me up a piece of land, grow me some trees, and, and, and open me up a dispensary, right? Because that's what they giving us, man, to participate in the shit and having an equal opportunity in coming into this community like everybody else doing what the fuck they supposed to do instead of uh, being and having us as scapegoats where we on the side of liquor stores owe a fucking equal, equal opportunity besides food stamps and being disabled, okay? We owe that 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 lump ass motherfucking sum to open up some 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 post some concrete out here and and build some for ourselves, just like our brown brothers and sisters is doing, and like our white brothers and sisters being able to do. And now you have our Oriental brothers and sisters able to come out here with their burrito truck with their burrito trucks. I mean, with they with they Oriental uh, food trucks. If I point my camera outside this window, man, yeah, yeah you wouldn't want to leave me alone, man. Literally. So subscribe to this channel, man. Cause I'm we okay. Cause I'm not the only one. I'm just a link in the chain, trying to send a message throughout all Black America to subscribe to the Reparations Task Force. That's it, that's all. That's the only thing that makes sense is them brothers and sisters, man. We go push. If, they, if they're up there, then let it be their motherfucking job. 
They're stepping up to the motherfucking plate, posting videos, keeping you abreast on what the fuck is going on up there. Okay? Yeah. So we need to support them. Because what's going to happen is once enough of us get on to the reparations task force, then they're going to be keeping us abreast on what we need to do in real time. In real time on how to support H.R. 40. And this is John Conyers and other brothers and sisters you know, pushing this and been pushed this and now they're getting old. They pass the baton to us. It's time for us, y'all, to construct and build and take offices. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. Because you can go from smoking that crystal pipe to having a a, a, a royal, a, a, a oval office, so to speak. I mean, just so to speak, having your own little, you know, part, having your own little, uh, um, you know, part you plan into building a sleepy nation. Just play your part. Yeah, that's it. That's all that was what was ever required. So all black Americans, wherever you're doing, you're smoking them drugs. I'm talking to my brothers and sisters up under that bridge. OK, in all cities of the United States of America, press subscribe to this show. We got work to do. And if you don't want to press subscribe to me, to this show, then go to the reparations task force and press subscribe. Because the more of us that's woke to what's going on, man, then that can give the, 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 the task force enough power to hit back. OK, like a cannonball. Like a cannonball, okay? Yeah, that'll get see us coming together be that cannonball. The the reparations task force that's 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 a branch from our members and a branch for our members that started a branch uh uh from the black congressional caucus. Okay? So subscribe to the task force, because the task force go take care of all the paperwork. You see what I'm saying? And then when we got enough ammunition, then that's when, you know, okay, the ones is up there. Uh, yeah, that's when the ones that's up there, you know, that's when the ones that's up there, like, uh, see if I could throw some names at you, brothers and sisters. You know, that, you know, uh, you know, you got well. Who name? What? Let me see. Okay, that's when the brothers and sisters up there in the Black Congressional Caucus, man, can uh start pushing. You know, have enough ammunition to start pushing uh HR forty into legislation, man. Okay, but the people that's you know here, let me let me see if I can run it down to you brothers and sisters cuz uh we need to get this straight we need to jump on board in the 21st century okay there's there's a, there's a big storm coming and and uh you know and these black congressional caucuses is like Noah man they trying to build us a boat okay so you know you got uh you know in the black congressional caucus you know uh you have um you have names like uh, Nicole Austin. Um, wait a minute. It's names, brothers and sisters. I wasn't prepared because I'm finna now. I just wanted to show you what Joe Biden was talking about, but you need to support uh, Joyce Biddy, okay? Lisa Blunt, Rochester. Uh, um, Lori. George Billing C. Okay. Uh Erica Combell. Pastor Pastor Mar Pastor Marvin Sapp. Pastor Shelly Shelly uh Caesar. And then even CC Wine is 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 uh is 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 uh participating. Angela Bassett is participating. Okay. Uh, um, so, you know, I got to study these notes, brothers and sisters. So I come back with another video.
and share with you brothers and sisters but you got a, a you got the uh you know you got Gina Adams this this sister man that's that that that's the uh Gina Adams' sister is the president the senior vice president for the government and regulatory affairs for FedEx Corporation man it's a sister up there you hear me okay okay so I'm just letting you brothers and sisters know. Then you got Tanya Vancey. Tanya Vancey. You know, and Tanya Vancey, you know, uh, you know, she's uh she's uh, I think the president of the Black Caucus. The, it's a sister, man. Huh? So y'all wanna, you know, yeah, 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 it's a sister, man. All right, so before my phone clip, I love you, brothers and sisters, because Ahaya loves you, man. Okay, we forgot about him, but he ain't forgot about us, as you see. And I'm pushed up into this.